Hey friends in the vinyl community, um, I'm back again to do probably my last recent vinyl for a while. Um, I'll be doing a bunch of other stuff though. Um, truth be told, I've actually had all of these since about September and they're finally getting up now. Um, I did do a video on the ones I'm going to show, but it was over 20 minutes and I didn't feel like splitting it up just yet. Um, I went really in depth. Um, there's only four records, but I went really in depth on the differences between and the little idiosyncrasies about them. Um, if you would like to see that, um, I'll post it by request because it is really long. It's it's really no different. All I got to do um, is just chop it into two parts. Um, I can do that, but I wanted to do a shortened version first so you guys could at least see everything. Okay, so, um, first one here is, um, Slayer Bootleg called Praise of Death. Um, there's the shot of the, um, cover. It's, uh, a double LP, um, live bootleg, um, Promotional copy from uh, 1987, at least on Aaron Records. And um, definitely uh, one I wanted for my um, Slayer uh, collection. Very, very cool. Um, Okay, next up, the Rain and Blood picture disc. There, that's better. Um, I'm not sure if this is the original or reissue. The guy I got it from had a bunch of um, original pressing and um, old bootleg. So I, by that, I'm guessing it's an original, but I can't say for sure, so I won't say that because um, there's really no way to tell. Um, there's basically, there's the U.S. release, there's the U.K. release, which I believe this one is, and then there's the German release. Um, and this one is, um, yeah, I believe this is the, um, the English release. Um, if anybody, um, can help me with that. Um, you know, uh, send me a message, leave me a comment, something like that. I've done research on it. I mean, this is probably the most famous co collectible that there is, um, as far as Slayer vinyl collecting, but the reissue is nearly identical with, with the stampings on the markings, um, from the research that I've done, and that's basically scouring you know, many, many, many fan websites. Um, well, that's really cool, and happy to have that in the, in a collection. Um, Slayer Hellawaits. Um, this is the Music for Nations Metal Blade Records release from. I believe this actually came out in 87. Um, I believe it was. And it actually came out. Um, you know, the. Oh, no. Okay, it is It is the same here as the original release. So this is 85. Um, double album. Um, posters included. And. Um, you know, it's got extra checks, um, Haunting the Chapel, and Captor of Sin from, uh, the EP, Haunting the Chapel, um, so that's really awesome, and happy to have that, um, happy to have another, uh, different, uh, 
pressing of uh, Hello Ways, which is my favorite album. Um, by Slayer. Okay, and this one, this is probably the one of the rarest um, Slayer bootlegs. Um, the rarest that I know of is called Fuck the Slayer. Um, with the Grim Reaper on the cover on the original and the reissue. Um, and to the best of my knowledge from the research that I've done, that is the first bootleg released in um, 83, limited to 100 copies, and damn near impossible. Um, I'd love to have one, but I'd probably have to pay in excess of $500 for it. And I just, I, I don't. I, I, I just don't have it. I wish I did, but I just I don't have it because that would be that would that would pretty much even though my Slayer collection is far from complete, I would practically say I would pretty much say that yeah, it is complete uh, if I was able to get that. Um, and and the reissue also is limited to um, on a copies. But anyway, this one um, is also very rare and extremely nice to have, uh, in part because of its insanely cool cover violent brains live at the dynamo dynamo and 52885 with the tomorrow devil cover and first time i saw this it's like yeah um i have to have it didn't think i would ever be able to get a copy and when I finally was able to get one, um, it's like, it's awesome. Um, jacket's not in the best of shape with a lot of creasing and some ring wear and, and all that. But still, I mean, this is incredibly rare. And to have a, a chance at owning a copy, I was not going to turn it down. Um, and the records are in excellent shape. So that made it a lot easier. Um just follow with the condition of the jacket. Um, okay, so that's pretty much all of the recent vinyl that I have. Like I said at the beginning, I did shoot a longer version. Um, if you'd like to see it, all you have to do is just talk to me. Whoops, I don't want to do that. All right, thanks everybody. Oh, and um, one other thing to add um, to this video, I will be um, launching a new channel um, here on YouTube, um, and it'll be All Slayer all the time. That's the only band that I'm going to be focusing on because they're one of my favorites, and so I'm going to highlight um, them with their own channel.